Scrum consists of three roles and four events. Next to those four events, most Scrum teams also do something which is called refinement. Okay, so what is refinement? Well, back in the days when they invented Scrum, most people used sprints that were four weeks long. They started those sprints off with a sprint planning session that took a day. If they weren't finished by the end of the day, they would go on the next day. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in a day-long planning session, but it is exhausting. See, the reason it took so long was the following. Let's say you're a product owner, right? And if you take a bunch of user stories and show them to a development team for the first time, they're bound to have more questions than you prepared for. There will be a lot of discussion, some new insights, and every once in a while, you need to go back to the drawing board. And that's okay, because it makes for better products. It does mean, though, that the time it takes to work out a user story is unpredictable, which makes it a bad idea to do it at the last possible moment, such as at the beginning of the sprint. What works better is to take some time during a sprint to discuss the stories that might need to be done in the near future. By doing that repetitively, for example, every week, it creates a sort of second process next to your sprint constantly delivering you well-understood user stories that are ready to go. You can do this in a number of ways, but most teams have a time-boxed meeting at the same day and time every week where the product owner presents new stories. Having a strong refinement process in place is one of the best ways of increasing your chances of having successful sprints. Invest enough time into improving it to make sure it really works for you.